Are you ready to hear? My God, it's so cool. So when I was in middle school and high school, um, I went through a lot of different situations where people who I thought were my friends were really mean to me and just being clicky, catty girls and not including me. And um, it started out any middle school, high school experience, but it kind of turned into a series of events where a lot of different things happened and it all started to chip away at my self-confidence and my feelings of self-worth. And all of these situations culminated in about 10th grade when a bunch of my so-called friends basically sat me down and told me everything they didn't like about me. And it just put validity to the lies that I was trying so hard not to believe about myself. Um, I walked away with this feeling that I was completely alone. The only people that I knew I had on my side um, was my family. And I didn't understand why God would put all this on me, what he was thinking by doing all of that. I just assumed that everyone in my life would leave me at some point um, because I wasn't worth them staying. I put up a ton of walls. I just kind of moved on trying to do everything on my own because obviously people have failed me and um, in turn in my thought process, God has failed me. Um, so I put up all these walls and I did everything on my own, but I still put on this fake face and was just a happy go lucky person, but still so broken and untrusting inside. I remember telling somebody once that I didn't like being weak because I didn't trust God enough that he would carry me um, when all my walls and barriers were broken down. I didn't trust that he would actually do that or that he would actually be better than the people that I saw who were supposed to be representatives of him. Um, I just tried to repress all these feelings for such a long time with the hopes that if I tried hard enough to forget and if I did enough in myself that I'd be fine. So fast forward to about a year ago when I was at a YMJA um, leadership summit and God basically pushed me into dealing with these issues. Um, I went up from, for prayer from two leaders and they ended up walking me through the steps of forgiveness. It was then that I realized just how broken I was and how I desperately needed God to be the driver of my life and because me doing what I was doing wasn't getting me anywhere. Um, since I did that and laid literally everything at his feet, I have felt such a weight lifted off of my shoulders and off of my life. And God has been showing me in so many cool, big and small ways just how much he loves me and how much I'm worth to him and how I should see the world through his eyes and not the eyes of my wounded flesh. Um, in Ephesians 2, 8, it says, For by grace you have been saved through faith, and this is not from yourselves. It is the gift of God. Nothing I have done comes close to being worth God's eternal gift of salvation and giving Yeshua up for us. Yet, somehow, he considers me priceless and beautiful. And that I will never understand. But that's why I'm unashamed of all that he's done. That's my testimony of how God's changed my life. I now want to challenge you and some other people to give the testimony of how God has changed your life. I want to challenge Mara Frisch, Leah Charles, Miriam Kungu, and Grace Adler.